The way home has become much easier for residents of Wavin Cock. On Saturday, March 23, 2019, residents turned out in large numbers to construct a flight of concrete steps, which will significantly improve access to the community. The project is the brainchild of Minister for the Environment, Climate Resilience, Disaster Management and Urban Renewal, Honorable Joseph Isaac. What happened was um, I was doing house to house in the, in the Rose North constituency and I, I decided to embark on discussion and visit of the people of Wavin Cork. When I came there, I saw the situation. You know, they told me most of their challenges talk about drainage and, and access to the property. So I immediately decided to embark on a Kudme project in which again, we're in Roseau North, when I, I come on board in regards to, to trying to help and facilitate um, the people in achieving what they're trying to achieve to ensure that they're in a better living condition. Minister Isaac was impressed by the enthusiasm of the scores of residents who actively participated in the project. All the people came together and used buckets to actually cast that. That's with, it's, it's eight cubic yards of concrete we actually did. And in I mean, to be honest with you, I was shocked because in record time, in about, let's say, in three to four hours, we actually did eight cubic yards of step, you know, which is commendable. It is easy for persons who drive by the small hillside community to underestimate the impact of this project. But residents are excited about the venture and speak highly of the new Rosonoff DLP candidate. Teresia Bruno has lived in Wavincock for the past 15 years. Wavincock have been a very bushy, little, how, how, how to say it, a little community, a little village. And so far, Danny Luge has not been helping us since he has been in Parliament. Okay. He is our power rep. He doesn't come after Maria. We haven't seen him. We went to him for help. He haven't helped us. Joseph Isaac from Labour, he has come and visit us once, twice, different space of time. And he see the area and he really interest in helping us in getting the step. So right now, I am very thankful that the step is coming to complete and to finish. Thanks to Joseph Isaac and the Honorable Prime Minister for giving us the strength in building this step. Catherine Sampson, who has resided there for over 40 years, has applauded Honorable Isaac for giving the people of Wavincock some much needed attention. Well, I feel good about this project because it's a long while. It's about 40 years since I live in there. And nothing happened done, nothing, nothing, nothing happened done. And uh, sometime my grandchildren meet Mr. Joseph Isaac. He tell them, you don't come in down there by my granny? He say, okay, yes, he'll come. And the next day he come. And he asked me my name. He watched the house and thing. He said, well, he's going to send somebody there. And true, he sent his engineer there. And then from that, they start doing a little project for us. What was this like before? Ah, like a jungle, I would say, we, because it's a little track we used to pass through. A little track. Well, now I see in development. Honorable Isaac says the project will open doors for new projects in the community. Because what we're doing is trying to create access to the homes, and then when we create access to the homes, then some of the assistance that they need, the housing assistance, we can easily facilitate it because now the contractors will be able to be able to bring the materials and access the homes. We're talking what Mr. Joseph Command do right now for us, and I want to thank him and thank the government. Daryl Tit for the Government Information Service.